Have you been on the fence about whether or not you wanted to join the VR craze? Well, stick around. We'll show you a device today and help you decide. Welcome back to the channel. This is Raf's Reviews. I am Raf. On this channel, we say don't spend your hard-earned money on something that may not fit your needs. Let me try it out for you first, help you decide whether or not something you want to buy. Today's review is not sponsored. I purchased this product on my own, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, before we get started, if things look a little bit different and there's been a little pause in recording, uh, it's because all my camera gear was taken out of a vehicle while we were on vacation, so I had to get all that stuff back together. So. If things look different, it's just because we're utilizing a new camera. Okay, so today we're going to take a look at the MetaQuest 3. So prior to it being MetaQuest, it, you might have heard to it as uh, Oculus or Oculus Quest 2. Uh, when they moved to the 3, it is now just the MetaQuest 3. So when you purchase this box, it does come in a 256 and a 512. This is the 512 version. When I was doing research, uh, it said if you're not going to you know, be storing a bunch of games on there, the 256 is fine. Uh, but we know over time how big apps get. Uh, so the concern was that eventually I might, uh, I might outdate the headset before it needed to be. So I went with the 512. I think it's about a, a couple hundred dollar difference between the two and I'll put the price down here uh, during the video so that way you can see. But inside the box you get the headset itself, you get two controllers uh, and all the power cables needed to power everything up. So the uh, individual controllers both take a AA battery, uh, the headset has an internal battery that charges. This is what the headset itself looks like. Now I will say I did put an upgraded headset on here and eyepiece. Uh, the one that comes standard on it was perfectly fine. Um, you know, playing it at about 30 minutes at a time, I didn't notice any discomfort or anything like that. Uh, I just got a different headset. Uh, my daughter is very young, small head, uh, and the standard one did not fit. Uh, it was a little bit too big for her. So this one really cranks down a little bit more. Uh, she doesn't spend a bunch of time on there, uh, but she likes, she enjoys playing Fruit Ninja. Uh, so we let her try out the headset every now and then. So kind of what sparked me finally deciding to get a VR headset, uh, you know, Apple's been talking about their Apple Vision Pro for a couple years now. Uh, so I was kind of waiting for that to come out, uh, you know, because I'm an Apple guy. Uh, so, you know, I was really interested in that headset. Well, a couple things. Number one, can't afford that dang headset right now. Uh, it's it's pretty expensive. Uh, but the other thing was, was that, now of course I have not had my hands on or attempted to use the Apple Vision Pro, but from everything that I've seen, the Apple Vision Pro, they don't consider that a VR headset. They consider that spatial computing or something like that. Uh, and really the big difference is, is that the Apple Vision Pro is for more being productive with things. So, you know, um, you can edit photos and watch videos and, and, and watch movies and that kind of stuff on there. Uh, but there's not a real big game set up on there. Um, the MetaQuest 3, uh, you should be able to be productive with it, interacting with your computer and apps on your computer. Uh, but again, like I said, I'm an Apple guy. I don't have uh, Windows-based computers, uh, so it doesn't, it doesn't really work very well for me in that scenario. Um, so I just got it for the gaming aspect of it. But if somebody uh, is watching this and they do have uh, this headset and PC computers, uh, feel free to put down in the comments how you think it interacts with each other. Now I will tell you uh, there is apps native in here uh, so you can stream Netflix, um, YouTube, uh, Disney Plus. So you can watch movies on this also. Uh, and like I said, you should be able to be productive with it too if, if that's what you're interested in doing. But enough of seeing me. I'm sure you want to see what it looks like uh, on the headset. So one of the features of the headset is the ability to cast to a phone. Uh, so I can I cast the video to my phone and then I screen mirror my phone to my TV so I can watch whatever somebody in the uh, goggles are seeing. Uh, and that's, and we'll, we'll put that video here so you can see what it looks like when it's in. So 
let's go ahead and get started and we'll take a look at what the interface looks like in there. Okay, so inside, uh, so this is a just a little virtual area here. Um, so if I look down, if I hold my head right, you'll see this blue circle here. So that's your boundary. Uh, right now I'm in the garage, which there's not a lot of space to put in. Um, so if I was sitting in a chair or anything like that, I would make this my boundary. Uh, and you'll see that if you exit, so I'm sure you've all seen videos where people have like ran into things and smack people upside the head or, or ran into the wall or killed their TV. So the way this boundary is supposed to work, if you see, if I come outside this boundary, then it goes to pass through mode. So I can actually see what's out there, come back into my boundary and then I'm back in that virtual world. Hey guy, how you doing? So that's how, that's kind of the safety feature. So as I look around, sky, trees, that good looking guy over there, uh, you know, spaceship coming to get me. And they have different worlds. Uh, we won't get into all that. Uh, so there's two ways to work in the interface. You have your controllers, so you can touch and work through that. So I'll show you that first. If I grab this, I can move that around, place it wherever I want to place it. And I can see my apps and that kind of stuff here. Close that. Uh, and there's two different ways to view it. So you have this or you can switch the distance. And by grabbing this, I can move this close or far, you know, however, however I want to do it or wherever I want to place it. Uh, so that's one way to navigate around. Uh, the other way to navigate around is with your hands itself. So I can pinch the screen here, which sometimes is a little easier said than done. Uh, I can move that around or I can push here, change that distance that I had. And then if I want to select something, I can just highlight it with this little circle uh, and pinch my fingers and it will go. Uh, so if you wanted to scroll, I can just grab here and scroll where I want to and see what I have in there. And again, same way, I can just grab this and, and move that to where I want to move it to. So let me step over here a little ways. Uh, we'll do this Wrath. Uh, so this game comes free with the headsets currently. Uh, after you purchase and activate it, you'll get a link to download this. So we'll take a look at this screen first. those on in case I karate chop something that I'm not supposed to just so we don't get a remote flying so this game takes a little while with it loading up uh, and you'll see because the graphics are pretty pretty amazing uh, but some of the other games hey how'd you do in so some most of the other games definitely Go a lot quicker uh, so this is just making sure the game knows where I oh you should probably brush your teeth yeah okay my battery's low all right so we're gonna go ahead and continue here so I, I've only played this game for about 20 or 30 minutes and basically you're supposed to be a god um, so here's our little virtual world here uh, we want to go over to that door I'm gonna blur out the picture over here uh, just because it is not very kid friendly uh, so I can move with this controller uh, I can change the way I'm looking by hitting this way but also if I move myself and look something different that's the way I'll walk so again if you're sitting down you can just use this uh, if you're walking uh, and you can change it because this is kind of a, a quick, so if that kind of gets you messed up, you can change it so that it'll pan slowly. But I, <coughs> excuse me, but while, as I'm standing, I just kind of face which way I want to go. All right, so this is just the entrance into the level. I'll try to look over the sides without falling over the sides here. All right, and here we are. So now if I moved to the side here and you see the screens off to the side I can mash a button here uh, let's do it this way I can mash a button here and recenter it that way all right so let's see what we got going on Ugh. 
Okay, how are you doing, guy? All right, so I think I've already completed this part earlier. So let me see here. So on this one, uh, on this part, you're supposed to change these, uh, highlight these things that are lit. So let's just move forward and grab us one of these. Put that there. Ah, you managed it. Well, of course I managed it. I won't mention that I've done it before. Okay, so we see we have to go up one, two, three, four, five. Let's see what happens when we just put one of these big ones on here. It's going to even it out to there. So let's let's not try that one. Let's take this one off and see where it sits at. So we're two ahead. So let's go a little bit further and then see what happens when we put one of these smaller ones here. That is cute. All right. And now we need to go up. Three. Uh, what happens if we use this one? Oh, apparently you've got to. All right, let's take one of those off. And I'm sure if we put this, we'll be too heavy. Oh, maybe not. So what if we take off this? And use one of these. Oh, I am the greatest. You have it. All right. So there's my little dude here. Can I pick myself up? No. All right. So I'm just going to hold this button down over here and shrink again. You're back. You do need me after all. We're all partners right. in the escape, it seems. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. So if I hold up my little thing here, I can see what I'm supposed to be doing. Apparently, I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Uh... And now, what to do with this balance? Try pushing the statue down. Fine. Let Autumn sleep once more. Let's get ourselves big again. You just give that... I just squeeze your stuff? I'm sorry, dude. Oh, here we go. Uh, I might be a little bit uh, immature, but I won't tell you what I was thinking about as I was doing that. All right, shrink ourselves back down, and then... oh my, Put some, uh... all right, you scoundrel, ready for some practice? Strength. You, you have, have no I... love of set either, I think. You all didn't think I had those kind of skills, did you? All right, let's go pick all this stuff up. I can't believe they made such a mess around here. Hey, whoa, hey. All right, let's go up here. All right, here's a little elevator. Okay, so that is kind of this immersive type of a game. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take a look at, you know, another pretty popular game right now is this Beat Saber. Um, so this is not running around and killing people. 
to kind of recenter ourselves here. So um, I like to call this game kind of like the combination of Fruit Ninja and Guitar Hero. Um, so I'm, I'll see, I'm not really sure how copyright laws work on YouTube. I'll take a look. So if you don't hear music during this, it's because uh, I'm worried about a copyright strike. So we'll just go ahead and hit so, uh, solo over here. We have modifiers, so you can make it more difficult or easier for yourself. Uh, and these are just some songs, some different songs. So we got volume one, volume two, a few extras. I think it comes with like nine songs, but I ended up buying a few more. Uh, so let's just go ahead and we'll try this one. Uh, let's see. What song do I want to hear? Well, let's just pick one that's not that long. Let's just do this one. Okay, so right now I hear the song playing. If you don't hear the song playing, it's because I couldn't figure out how to make sure I didn't get a copyright strike. So on this, you're going to see boxes come at you, and they're going to have, here's my little ninja stars. So the boxes come at you with these little arrows, and whichever way the arrow is going is which way you're supposed to swing. So this is set on easy right now. When these little walls come, you're just supposed to move out of the way. And then, of course, you know, these boxes are red and blue. So depending on what color is, depend depends on which controller you'll swing at it. It's pretty much the greatest person I know. Yeah, that's the MetaQuest 3. Uh, pretty, pretty eventful, uh, kind of fun. I'm not a big gamer, uh, but I find myself on this quite often because uh, it's, it's pretty... Pretty neat, pretty interactive. Bunch of different games on there. Uh, so we see uh, the games range from about 10 bucks up to, I've seen some as high as 40 bucks. Um, they do send a lot of codes for you to get some money off. Uh, also, there's a subscription service where you get a bunch of uh, free games because you're part of the subscription service. So there's that option also. Uh, I think it came with six months free of that service also. So you can try out a few other games at, at no cost. Uh, they also have some games that have a preview. You can play it for like 20 minutes before you decide whether or not you want to buy. The other thing that's really neat is uh, some of the apps, when you're looking through the app store, we'll say a uh, seven day return policy. So let's say you buy a game. I haven't tried it, but let's say you buy a game and you think it's absolutely horrible. Uh, you can request a refund. So that's pretty neat. Uh, let's see, things that I would like to change on it. So like I said, there's a 256 and a 512. Um, I understand, you know, the way things work, they want you to spend more, to, more money to buy more. But if 512 is the top tier, it would be nice if they had the ability or an SD card slot so you could expand it even more. I mean, I've already I've already paid for the top tier one. There's no higher I can go. It would be nice if there was an SD card that I could pop in there if I needed more storage. I've got a bunch of games on there and it only took up a small portion so far. So um, I think you could probably do just fine with the 256 if you want to get in at a cheaper price point. Uh, but like I said, my concern was if games grow to be larger, um, will I outdate my headset earlier than it should be outdated? So uh, that was kind of my thought process behind that. Other than that, man, I, I, I really enjoy it. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. If you found it helpful, please, or enjoyed it, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more reviews as they come out, uh, hit that subscribe button. And if you hit that little bell, it'll notify you anytime a new video releases. Uh, if you have any other specific questions about the headset, please go ahead and put that down in the comment section. I'll answer it as quickly as I can. And if there's anything in particular you'd like me to try to review, let me know. I'll try to get my hands on it for you so I can do a review. Uh, if you do request me to review something and there's something specific that you want to know about it, please drop that in the comment section also so that way I can make sure I cover that during the video. Other than that, thanks so much for sticking around. We'll see you next time. Bye.